Koenigsegg CEO, this new engine will wipe the floor with all electric cars in 2025. What if everything you thought you knew about the future of cars is about to be flipped on its head? While the world rushes toward electric vehicles, one man Christian von Koenigsegg is quietly building something so radical, so insanely powerful, that it could destroy the EV narrative overnight. Could a brand new internal combustion engine really outperform the most advanced electric supercars of 2025? And more importantly, why is no one else even trying? In a world where electric cars and software-defined performance are becoming more common, a small Swedish car company is about to make a big splash. Koenigsegg, a small company that makes hypercars and is known for changing the rules of automobile engineering, is about to release a new combustion engine that could change everything we think we know about the future of performance. Christian von Koenigsegg himself said that this new engine will wipe the floor with electric cars by 2025. Not a big reveal, no effort to tease, just a quiet statement from a man who is better known for inventions than marketing. I made up my mind, it's time. Strange things have been going on in Engelholm behind closed doors. If the rumors and specs are true, it could be one of the most important technologies in the history of cars, not because it goes against the EV trend, but because it is better engineered than the EV trend. Koenigsegg has never followed the rules. Since the 1990s, when Christian von Koenigsegg drew his first concept car, his goal has not been to make cars, but to make engineering changes. Koenigsegg didn't just get into the hypercar world with the CC8S, then the CCR, and finally the Agera RS, which set a new record for production speed at 277.9 miles per hour in 2017. But the chase wasn't just about the fastest speeds. That's true for every Koenigsegg, from the Regera's direct drive hybrid system to the Jesco's crazy triplex suspension. They are all perfect examples of function-first engineering, innovative designs, lightweight materials, and meticulously detailed mechanics all show a core belief. Everything on the car must serve performance. It's cut if it doesn't. Koenigsegg is different from companies with much bigger budgets and longer histories because they care about how their products work. Others use tradition to coast, but Koenigsegg uses limitations to come up with new ideas. Then there was the Gamera, a Hyper GT with four seats that sounded like a joke at first, a family car made by the same company that makes monsters with 2,000 horsepower. But as usual for Koenigsegg, it wasn't just real, it was new. Its heart was the tiny, friendly giant, a 2.0-liter engine with three cylinders that made 600 horsepower. It's not a mistake. The TFG had two turbochargers and Koenigsegg's own camless free valve technology, which let it change every valve in real time. This let it optimize combustion for power, efficiency, or silence, based on the situation. The Gamera had up to 1,700 horsepower, all-wheel drive, torque vectoring, and room for four people in their luggage. It also had three electric motors. This wasn't a cheap car. It was a response to the idea that stupidity and usefulness can't live together. The EV Ace from Koenigsegg has a dark matter motor. When Koenigsegg released its dark matter electric motor in 2023, it raised more eyebrows. It is a small, six-phase, axial radial flux design that makes 800 horsepower and 1,250 newton meters of power from a unit the size of a backpack. This machine wasn't just strong, it was also smart. To control torque and economy, traditional EVs use a lot of motors and complicated software. The dark matter from Koenigsegg does it better with just one motor. Less mess, less heat, and less waste. Always and only force. As a result, lighter cars that handle better and keep their cool better, exactly the kind of systems that work best on track days, not just test benches. Even though dark matter was great, it wasn't the goal. It was a way to get somewhere else. What's new about the hot V8? Brute force? Everyone was interested in how Koenigsegg would improve electric motors, but they did something no one saw coming. They increased their focus on combustion. The Gamera has an alternative engine called the Hot V8 that was based on the Jesco's 5.0 liter twin turbo monster. It has 1,500 horsepower of power and it can be paired with an 800 horsepower dark matter motor for even more power. 
2,300 horsepower of power altogether in a car with four seats. That wasn't all Koenigsegg did. It was more than just a surgery. The hot V8 was changed to fit into the Gamera's hybrid layout. It now works with electric systems, is lighter, and is more sensitive than ever before. Koenigsegg made real noise in their electric vehicles, unlike most other companies that made them sound fake. It was loud, strong, and hard to ignore. But there's a catch. Christian von Koenigsegg never said this was the final form. Koenigsegg was surprisingly quiet in 2024. There are no fancy ideas. Don't use vague hints. There are more and more rumors that something big will happen in 2025. Then in a meeting behind closed doors, Christian said the words that changed everything. I made my choice. It's time. It wasn't a new hypercar that was something big. The engine was brand new. A brand new internal combustion engine that was made from scratch to run on synthetic e-fuel and was tuned for weight, power, and fumes in a way that no other engine had been able to do. Christian is said to have told his team, no one else can do what we're doing. You can't get that anywhere else. The new engine isn't an old one. It's not a lament for the past. It's a new story written with tools from the present day. It is lighter than any Koenigsegg engine that has been made so far. Using manufactured fuel that doesn't harm the environment, it can produce as much power as full EV systems, but it doesn't have to deal with the weight or range issues of batteries. Christian said it gave the combustion engine enormous freedom, meaning it didn't have to depend on belts, cams, or even fuel. Koenigsegg's main idea is to question everything and start from the very beginning. What this does to everything, heavy electric vehicles, EVs, are taking over the world of high-performance cars. They're fast, at least in a straight line, but they're also big, complicated, and often not linked together. It's no longer exciting to have quick torque. The physical and mental involvement that made driving fun is being cleaned up. The new engine from Koenigsegg doesn't fight EVs on their own terms. It changes the rules. The immediate combustion, the efficiency of software-tuned valve control, and the long-term use of e-fuel are things that no electric car can give. All of this without the weight of the battery getting in the way. That's not what the play is about. It's a revolt in engineering. What's unique about Koenigsegg? A lot of big automakers spend a lot of money trying to make their lineups more electric. Koenigsegg has a different approach. They electrify their lineups carefully. Instead of a clutch, the Regera had a direct drive hybrid torque system. You could choose between the Gamera's three-cylinder economy, its electric only quiet, or its full-on V8 rage. As a result, most of the time, Koenigsegg hybrids are faster, lighter, and more fuel efficient than cars that only use electricity. What's more, they feel different, more alive, more like a machine, not as cold. Now that they have a new engine, they will beat EVs at their own game, not by copying them, but by beating them. Christian von Koenigsegg is not against electricity. He actually works for a company that makes some of the most cutting edge EV parts in the world. He doesn't believe that one size fits all electricity is true though. He has been very open about how mining lithium is bad for the earth, how hard it is to recycle batteries, and how heavy EVs waste energy. Moreover, he is one of the few car leaders who is putting money into e-fuels, alternative energy systems, and combustion architectures that meet emission standards without sacrificing performance. Christian doesn't think that giving up burning is the way of the future. It's about making it better. In 2025, Koenigsegg made what could be the last great combustion engine or the first of a new age. It's a line in the sand either way. People who think that electric vehicles are the only way to go should think again. It has the nerve to ask, what if we didn't give up on the internal combustion engine too soon? What if it had more to give? Koenigsegg says that this new engine can wipe the floor with electric cars. If that's true, then batteries won't be the only thing that changes in car performance over the next few years. They'll be about brains, about giving everything we thought was set in stone another look. Because you can be sure that something big is about to happen when Christian von Koenigsegg quietly comes out of the shadows and says, it's time. If you love insane engineering, future shaping tech, and underdog stories that shake up the entire industry, hit that subscribe button. You won't want to miss what's coming next.